Yo, 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 it's JSF. How y'all doing? So, is Perfect Legend a pro player? Is that accurate? Can I say that? I mean, he used to be. I don't know if he still is. But, um, yeah, man, folks are scared. And I'm going to just disclaimer it now. I might not be PC. I'm not going to say anything flagrant. I haven't said anything disrespectful about the man, Perfect Legend. I have not. But this is where it gets interesting because I might say something now. But I just wanted to play him. Um, anyway, what am I talking about? Before we get to this, let me just, let me just, backstory, backstory. Um, anyway, so he posted something on Twitter. Granted, I'm blocked on his Twitter now. I guess I got to bring that out. But basically, he was talking about um, Jackie. I should have picked Jackie. Man, basically, basically, Jackie has a string. We all know Jackie's stupid. That's plus on block. And he pointed out that Fujin can backdash it because Fujin's backdash is really good. Right? People think Fujin is top tier because uh, Fujin's backdash is really fucking good, etc., etc., etc. But I will keep saying what I've been saying. Fujin's ass. Yeah, his movement is really good. 100%. I'm not going to say his movement's bad. I have eyes. I'm not dumb. But once you get past the gimmicks and the smoke and mirrors, you just pick Robocop and shoot his ass. The character's not that good. Anyway. The problem with the game is not that everybody's backdash isn't as ridiculous as Fujin's is. And in another game, right? In another game, that would be fine, right? Another game would be fine. Twitter has character limits and shit. Um, but like this string, right? It's a high mid, Jackie's jab string. Second hit comes out, she's plus. She can 1-1 one, one, and then go into whatever. She's plus. Go ahead and poke. You die. His solution was, oh yeah, if, we, if everybody had a backdash like Fujin's, we could beat this. My suggestion was... Just don't make it plus or make it two highs. Like we we don't need to buff every character in the game's backdash because that's going to introduce a, a new meta of not only just down one backdash or buttons on block into backdash, just it's going to change the entire game and it won't be for the better. Just nerf her string and that solves the problem. Um, he was salty about that. I don't know why he was salty about that. I tweet my opinions very often. And um, then he said, so what you're saying is what is common in uh, other fighting games shouldn't be common in MK. Got you. And I was like, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying nerf one broken ass. There's one broken character, right? Nerf that one character. Don't nerf the entire cast. Like you don't need to change or I mean, don't buff the entire cast. You don't need to change the entire game and the entire meta of the game to fix Jackie. The problem is this kid. The problem is right here. Problem is Jacqueline Briggs. It's not the the problem is not we don't have invincible backdashes. I get that we don't, but that doesn't like the game can function as a fighting game without that. Um Yeah, but that's what he was saying. I forgot what I said after that. It's probably I probably can't see it, can I? Yeah. And he said, so you are saying you are un unable to adapt using a further reaching move to catch backdashes. This is a common strat in other games. It would evolve the meta. So you're admitting you want to you want the game to be strike or throw every situation, no freedom or other shots. Now this is hilarious to anybody who watches me play because I play spawn, and this is what I said to him. Oh, I was after this, but I play spawn, bro. You can backdash if you want. You can back roll. You can forward roll. If you back roll, I might whiff, but if you forward roll, you're gonna get whiff punished. If you wake up up two, up three, you're gonna get whiff punished. Like I don't care if you wake up with shit. Like that's not my problem. You know what I'm saying? And I talked about how the game was designed. He was like, what way is it designed? You talk to the devs? And I was like, fam. All right. At this point, I realized it. I thought about it. I was like, oh, shit. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. And yeah, long story short, he just went from every way to try to discredit me. And I just found it funny. He said, I beat way better spawns than you. Go play combat league. You aren't a true champion. He said, you aren't a champion. Go, go back up another tree. He probably meant bark up. Um, and then you blocked me on Twitter. So let's talk. Let's talk for a second. Um, I'm not a champion. Um, I guess he won EVO in Mortal Kombat, I guess. I don't remember. I'm not trying to be funny. I legitimately don't remember because it doesn't matter. Um, just like a lot of a lot of MK9 players claim the fame was like, you know, they did get an EVO, they did top eight, they placed whatever, whatever, whatever. But, and this is not to discredit Perfect Legends wins in the past. Hey, you went to the tournament. You beat the people in the tournament. Congratulations, bro. I can go outside and punch out whoever's on the streets. I won. I beat whoever was out there at that time. I'm not <laughs> I'm not here to discredit him all that. I just think it's funny because I was like, fam, okay, if this is how you feel, 
And I was like, I'm analysis, man. I analyze. This is what I do. Y'all know. I do match analysis. I do analytical videos. I break down the game and talk about why this is stupid, why that's stupid, why this should be this way, why that should be that way. That's who I am. That's my character, right? That's who I am. I feel like if y'all disagree, granted, I go off on people sometimes. But that's because this game is stupid. But um, I think it's hilarious that this man was scared to play me in the first of five. I was about to offer money, but he blocked me. I was about to say, hey, yo, I'll put up 50. I will put up 100, but I, I feel like at that point, you're going to try to scam me. Um, but I'll put up 50 at least. 50, he don't got to put up a penny. That's what I was going to say. And if y'all want to send him this video, Perfect Legend, I will play you in the first to five. I won't character lock you or nothing. We play first to five, I'll put up 50. If you beat me, you get 50 bucks. It's, if you're better than me, it's free money. Take it. It's free real estate. But he not going to do it. Like, yeah, this is the mentality that I hate. And it's not, it's not rampant in the community, but it's like a pro player who thinks they're too good for you. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and like, it's almost like the, the scar thing, but it's different. Like, or scar was saying, see, y'all wonder why pro players don't want to play with y'all. Cause we play a set with y'all that's mad casual. And then you try to say you beat us. But in this situation for me, it's different. Like I'm telling you, I'm better than you and I can beat you. And if you think you can beat me, play me, I will pay you. I'll give you fifty dollars to play me in the first of five. What's that shit gonna take you? Twenty minutes? If you if you're that much better than me, what's that shit gonna take you? Twenty minutes, maybe thirty? And you make fifty three dollars? Come play me. Like, but it is is this whole mentality that nah, nah you didn't you don't deserve it. You didn't earn a shot to play me, but I'm like, fam, you won in or made top eight at Evo or did whatever you did in a game nine years ago that nobody was playing. Let's keep it a buck. MK9 had its own community. It was a new IP. It wasn't a new IP in the sense of what an intellectual property is, but it was a new fighting game. Every fi the fighting games before Mortal Kombat 9 were 2D. So going or 3D were 3D and going back to 2D and MK9, it was not the last game was MK versus DC. Three years prior, and it was 3D. It's a different fighting game. So don't tell me you're good. KDZ won Evo. KDZ, do any of anybody who's watching this video, and no disrespect. No disrespect to Kid Disaster. <laughs> Does any of you know, watching this video know who KDZ is without Google, without YouTube, without looking up Injustice? Do y'all know who won Evo the first year of Injustice 1? Do y'all know who came in second? I do. I watched it live. My point is, what the, like, and this is obvious, it's no disrespect. What the fuck is KDZ doing now? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, don't talk down. You're not, until you become a champion. What? Nigga, what are you a champion at? You don't want no money for that? Like, let's keep it a stack, bro. Let's keep it a buck. I would wash Perfect Legend in this game. And I, I think it wouldn't even be close, to be honest with you. I think I'd beat him handily. Granted, it might be close. There's a slight chance I would lose if he counterpicks me. But, like, he would have to pick around my character. He would have to beat me in a way that you know it was some bullshit. So he wouldn't look good doing it. And that's the problem. Perception. I think he don't want that smoke. I don't think he wants to real. I, I think a lot of players are like this. They don't want to play you because they don't want to look away. Or even if they win, they know the people that know is going to look at them like, ah, see? You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I just find it hilarious, bro. I find it funny. Because I will always put my opinions out on Twitter. And if a pro player says something stupid, or if a nobody says something stupid, if anybody pops up on my feed saying something stupid, especially about something I know the answer to, I'm gonna comment on it, bro. That's me. That's who I am. That's who I am. I'm opinionated. I'm intelligent. Uh, I'm analytical, and I know the right answer most of the time. You're not gonna tell me the way to fix Jackie is to buff every back dash in the game. Hey, you know we need invincible back dashes, and now Jackie's fine. Nah, she's still be broke. Cause that just introduces a new meta of, hey, I know you're a plus, and this should be your turn, but I'm a back dash. You can't hit me. That introduces a totally different meta. It changes, it changes the entire game. It sets a different precedent. It could be a lot worse. I think it'd be worse. But you could argue that changing the game in that way might end up being better in the long run. But it's not proven. Why do that when all you have to do is nerf one character? Like, to me, it was so obvious. But then he also said people who complain about not being... People who complain about meaty... Um, not being able to meaty and wake up buttons are trash in this game. Like, he implied that. And I was like, oh, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. And then here's another thing. Just like I said about developers not knowing shit, 
Pro players don't know shit sometimes either. And he is not a pro player anymore at all. The nigga's trash. But I'm saying, somebody who was a pro player, somebody who did play MK9 at an extremely high level, just doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He doesn't. And I would beat him if he played me. But he doesn't want to play me. So I think this is hilarious. And again, I had zero plan to make in this video. <laughs> I had, and people are probably going to hate this video too. Sorry, y'all. I'm just being honest. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not here to lie to my audience. I didn't start YouTubing for the whole world to like me. I know a large portion of the community is gonna hate me. They hated me in Injustice. They're probably gonna hate me now. I don't care about that. I care about being honest and transparent and telling the truth and being nice because I'm actually good at this game. And I almost beat the dude who made top four in Destroyer's last tournament. So you can't tell me I'm bad. Like, you can't do it. It doesn't make you like, it's just not true. You can say I'm not top eight material. You can say I've never won the tournament. You can say a few things about me, um, but you can't say I'm bad at the game. And you can't say I don't know what I'm talking about. Cause I will prove to you that I know what I'm talking about. And you will sit there looking dumb. But anyway, point of this video was, um, if y'all let be, if y'all want to tell, if y'all want to see me play a first survivor perfect legend, which probably y'all don't want to see because he's washed, but I'm down to play it. <laughs> I just can't message him on Twitter. <laughs> ah, it's funny, man. I, cause I remember everything. I, I, I have the history. He does not have the history. <laughs> it's just funny to me, man. And like, just don't let nobody ever talk down to you ever, bro. Ever. I don't care how bad you think you are, how bad they think you are. I don't care what their accomplishments are. I'm trying to get Sonic Fox to play me in Small Mirror. I think I'd win. And y'all gonna think I'm crazy for saying that. You're not better than Sonic Fox? No, I'm not. But I think I'm better spawn than Sonic Fox. I've put more time, I put more effort, I put more research into this character. I play more matchups with this character. I don't think anybody's better than me with this character. Is this the best character in the game? No. Is this character top tier? No. Is this character really good and viable? No. <laughs> but I still think I'm the best with this character. I've not seen a spawn better than me. I've not seen it. I haven't. There was one dude who played Spawn early on, like when the character first came out, who was beating me early on, but I haven't seen him in months. And that was when I wasn't the best with Spawn yet. I wasn't that nice yet. I'm OD. Like, I'm, I'm me. I'm me. But anyway, this video don't have a real purpose other than just to say I think it's funny. Um, people who think they're, they're something, right? People who think their shit don't stink will try to talk down to you. <laughs> like, you a champion and I'm not a boy. Look, <laughs> you didn't get invited to the summit of time for a reason. Let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a full loaf of bread, my G. Um, but yeah, for those of y'all watching, if you're not a pro player, if you've never been a pro player, if you're a casual, if you're a, a player who plays competitively, don't let nobody talk down to you because they ain't shit. <laughs> I can beat a lot of pro players, which is why I post the high level sets I post, even when I lose. Even when I lose, right? It's fine. I don't care. I'll post a set if I lose to KP, if I lose to Averk, or if I lose to whoever. Even though I've never played Averk uh, in a in like a combat league set, I've only played him in that set where we swapped characters and it was weird at six in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, pro players being scared of me is hilarious, but it's nothing new. I guess he thinks I'm like trying to get clout out of him, but PL doesn't really have any clout. I don't think I would get any brownie points for beating him. He lost 13 on the Sonic Fox, so he's kind of just like. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of more laughed at than anything. But I don't hate Perfect Legend. I have no beef with him, no issue with him. I just thought it was a Once he blocked me on Twitter, I was like, all right, bet. I'm making a video now. <laughs> I was like, all right, bet. I already know what it is. Um, but anyway, yeah, I guess his argument was you can't deal with wake up buttons. And I was like, fam, I'll play spawn. You can look, look, I'll play spawn. You know what you can do? You can wake up buttons all you want. Press buttons. I'm a down one you. I just hit on plus 15 bet. Keep pressing buttons. You're gonna get counter hit. Like if I do this to you, look. Real real rap. I do this all the time. I down one you. If you press a button here, you, that's gonna crush you and all your, your life bars gonna be gone. I'm not a f I don't care if you wanna press buttons on wake up. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, bro. I was dying to play this man, but he nah, he wasn't with it. Anyway, I just think it's funny. Former pro players, pro players scared to play me. Little old me. Little old JSF. Nobody, man. I can't even monetize my YouTube videos. I don't have enough of a following. 
I'm not special, but I will mop the floor with a lot of these dudes. I think some of them know that deep down in their heart and soul, but it's all good, man. Anyway, I, just, I guess I just wanted to talk some shit a little bit. Maybe this is toxic, too. If y'all hate this video, I understand. Um, but I never made this video said I was gonna be super PC, super polite, super nice. I used to encourage people to dislike my videos if you don't like the content. Um, yeah, so that's me. I'm keeping it honest. I'm not gonna let nobody talk down to me because he won a tournament 10 years ago. You're trash. Come get this smoke. Come get this work. <laughs> Have you wanna really be tested? Come get this. We were probably playing Justice to keep it a, keep it a stack. I'm better than you with that too. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Um, I'm all for grudge matches. I'm all for entertainment, man. To me, it's funny. That's why I keep laughing. I'm here for... Let's, if we all argue with each other on Twitter, let's at least put out some good content for it so the people can get something. That's how I feel. But how do y'all feel, man? How do y'all feel? Y'all let me know. If y'all don't care for this at all, if y'all think this would be a hype grudge match, um, send them, tell them on Twitter. Cause I'm blocked <laughs> but tell him I said I would smoke his boots and he can't he can't you know what I'm saying that that man don't deserve to wipe my ass with toilet paper you don't deserve that luxury bro you don't deserve to be the little dude selling mints in the bathroom while I'm taking a piss you don't deserve that you're not that nice you're not good enough for that so tell PL <laughs> he can come get this work I won't character lock him nothing like that we just play a first survive whatever happens happens and I'm with it but anyway, man, y'all have fun. Y'all stay safe. Stay entertained, man. Don't take none of this seriously. It's just video games, bro. I'm just having fun. I hope y'all having fun. But anyway, JSF, I'm about to go to bed. Y'all have fun.